inaction, hesitance, doubt, despair. Boom, boom, boom. And so I selected that I was like super bold. I'd have to do it all by now, okay? Would they be honest and be like, oh, actually, this ain't gonna do anything for you. So just, just don't even bother, you know? Are you already good enough? You're king. Hello, everybody. Let's sync the audio. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to this video. Welcome to Bold Cafe, sponsored by Leaf Shave. Make sure you check those guys out down in the description box if you're on the market to excel in your razor game. In this one, we are talking about the rise of the new age male wellness brands, I guess we call them. If you're on Instagram and, you know, you've got concerns over your hair loss, then it's very likely that you've already seen a ton of these companies through your Instagram ads and more than likely here on YouTube. They almost come across as the, the new, it's the, the hair loss saviors. It's never been so easy as long as you buy our product. Ultimately, we're talking about how a lot of these companies play on the fears, on the insecurities of men to sell their products. And really, I have to highlight that all these things are is copy paste, copy paste the same thing over and over again, selling the same products, just packaged up in a different way in an age where we're really trying to encourage men to open up a bit, talk about these things, get them out there, actually speak to people right about these problems. But these companies have the answer to that. You don't actually need to speak to them. You just fill out a questionnaire online. Fantastic. I think we'll begin with the culprit, the uh, the instigator for this video. And that was this advert here. It says, do something about your hair loss, okay? It only takes 30 seconds to do something. Despair, the despair of thinning hair. There's like some funky music in the background. Inaction, hesitance, doubt, denial, don't despair okay all of those horrible feelings just boom 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 reminding you of these things don't give up lads but here we go jump on here discreetly delivered a lot of people in here not massive fans okay despair 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 what a terrible ad uh i'm going bold and it's okay uh this shouldn't be allowed a lot of people this has kind of got people's backs up a little bit they have this thing that it's like if you're not acting on it if you're not doing something about it then you're doing it wrong right it's like but the thing you need to do is to buy our products. That's the thing that doesn't sit well with me. Some people don't feel like that's the route they want to take. So should they be made to feel bad about that? It offers guys the chance to go to a, a medical professional. Now, I don't doubt that the these people that they have on their payroll aren't, you know, medically trained. They would have to be, right? They're using the fact that we know that people don't like to talk about these embarrassing problems. Um, and offering this solution, but is it the right solution? Now, I actually was curious. I was curious to know if no matter how you kind of went about answering these questions, could you still be allowed to get the stuff, you know, get the stuff? So they ask you questions about, you know, are you depressed? Do you suffer from any underlying health conditions, right? Also, I was curious to know, I think even the people that really promote, you know, taking these medications and things like that, come on. If I was to jump on that stuff now, right, you know how my hair loss is looking. Let's be real, guys. It wouldn't do anything. It's far too late if I ever wanted to do that. And so I selected in the um, in the questionnaire there, you know, that I was like super bold, um, you know, just like no hope for any of this stuff to work. I don't even know, it, it, you know, if I would have to get multiple hair transplants, I'm sure, and jump on all this stuff, probably do SMP. I'd have to do it all by now, okay? I'd have to do it all if I really wanted to do that. Um, and I was interested to see, uh, would they be honest and be like, oh, actually, listen, you're not going to be able to, this ain't going to do anything for you. So just just don't even bother, you know. Um, when you got to the end of the questionnaire, like it was weird. It, it didn't, I didn't then send those results off. And then they, um, you know, come back to me and say like, yeah, we can progress with this. And then I tell them a bit about, you know, my medical history or whatever. You had to put it all in. Um, and then I think they would even, they would come back with you to say, and I, and I wasn't prepared to do that. Okay. It says here, look, if you experience any of the side effects mentioned above, stop using the hair loss treatment and seek medical guidance, right? So they're not like, oh, don't worry. If you do anything, just get back in touch with us. We'll sort it out. It's like, oh, if you have any of that stuff, like you're on your own there, like you better go see the doctor that let's be honest, you should have just gone to see in the first place, right? Now, again, I'm not here to debate um, side effects, whether they exist and things like that. It's quite clear that they do exist, but the likelihood, whether you think that's worth it, worth the, worth the risk, is entirely down to you guys. I've spoken about my opinion there. 
I, you know, I don't advise people on what they should or shouldn't do necessarily. You know, go in with it with uh, knowledge, with doing your own research and, and weigh up the options for yourself. You've got this company here claiming that in these trials, only around 1.5 percentage of men experience some symptoms, right? The classic ones. Now, if we go on to a, a very similar company here, right? They're answering the same question here. And you can see here, only 3.8% of men notice some form of sexual side effects. I mean, obviously, you could say, oh, there's different studies been done on how many side effects. We'll just put those studies together and get an average result and just use the, the average result. It's a bit all over the place. Interestingly, you want to see here, look, the, the comments are turned off in this in this video. You got to ask yourself why. You just got to question it, okay? The next thing we got to talk about is the whole like pay structure of this all. You got this guy here. I get the five milligram supply, cut it into quarters, and then 30 pills turns into actually 120 pills. It looks like the five milligram is $8.60 at Walmart, which is really a 120 day supply for me. I only need to pay that three times a year, so it's about $25 for an entire year. Meanwhile, Keeps and Hims, they're offering for about $25 a month they're giving you the one milligram finasteride and a 30 day supply. Again, you know, if this is the road you want to go down, just there's people out here who can give you little tips like that and save you money. Now, I want to finish off here, guys, with a really interesting article that basically backs me up on these things. It shares the same sort of concerns and it explains it a little bit better than I can. The booming male wellness industry has an unhealthy dark side. It says here, a new generation of male-focused wellness brands offer online treatments for hair loss. Are they just playing into a harmful narrative of endless self-improvement? You know me, guys. I'm all about love thyself. And um, if you go down this road of constantly trying to um, chase something more, is it ever going to be good enough? Or are you already good enough your king. Shout out to the men who aren't afraid of stepping up and taking care of themselves. So you can see that very advert here at the bottom here. Look, shout out to all the men who aren't afraid of stepping up and taking care of themselves. Like, just, just think about that as a guy with a bit of self-pride. Like, who, like what? Like, who are these people to say that, oh, you know, it's like, again, you're only taking care of yourselves by using our products, you know? And if you're not using our products, you're not taking care of yourself. Like, lads, come on. Come on. We've got to see past that. More hair, less hassle. Get medication. More hair, less hassle. Really? I beg to differ. Okay, so it goes on to talk about here, look, the lineup of cookie cutter male wellness brands and that's exactly what these are just same thing slightly repackaged but they position themselves as part of a new blossoming masculinity right where it's okay to 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 do these things which i agree it is okay to to want to take care of yourself but is the right message saying that if you're not using these things then you're not taking care of yourself you know what i mean 80 to 90 percent of people buying the um, ed products it was question right can he be sure that people aren't buying it who don't need it right same like i said about the hair loss stuff and he answered possibly i couldn't rule that out he says to get the product from us you have to fill out a detailed questionnaire and you know if people aren't willing to be honest there's only so much we can do and again this thing's if you're to if you feel not comfortable enough to go and speak to a doctor they're kind of offering you a way through that door is it ethical again maybe that's a conversation that we need to to have and you can let me know your thoughts down in the in the in the in the conversation box in the in the comment section right this is really interesting here look claim to enable a conversation that is currently closeted okay so again big here on talking about the the issues of hair loss and how you might feel embarrassed about that or ashamed but they're also helping men to get treated without having to talk to anyone about their problems they offer claims that the days of square jaw lines and uh, no flaws are long gone while their entire brand leans on the assumption that flaws in men's bodies need fixing. So I just thought that was an interesting article, so I wanted to run you guys through that. Again, you can read that whole thing down in uh, in the description box. And uh, let me know what you think about this, guys. Let me know what you think about it. I'm sure you will have seen a lot of these adverts here. I really think most of the people going for this thing, again, like I said, are people who are not so researched in the area. You know, they probably haven't dived so deep because... 
do they need to with things like this? You know, at least seemingly, they probably probably seems like they don't need to because, you know, here's the answer to that problem, right? Do something about it now. So as soon as you see it, jump on this stuff. And uh, I don't know, guys, I don't know. I've never really liked this sort of thing. To me, it seems like they're trying to come across as something new, something um, way easier, cutting the, uh, the link between a guy who's got, an embarrassing problem or what they they feel embarrassed about and um it's actually sort of degrading that relationship with him and his doctor or him and someone he trusts someone he wants to talk to and um i don't think that is a good thing okay i don't let me know what you think let me know what you think about um a lot of this branding am i just being a little bit of a snowflake or is this going against what we're trying to promote this day and age 2021 uh guys do your research there's nothing shameful. There's nothing to be ashamed about um, losing your hair, okay? You saw there just how damn common it really is. Think about where you want to spend your money, who you want to give it to, okay? You're number one, so look after yourself primarily, guys. I'm going to be here with more videos to help you guys out through this stuff. I hope you find this one interesting. Don't forget to uh, hit that like button, subscribe, do whatever you got to do. I, of course, will see you very soon for that next video. I'll see you then. Goodbye. Don't give up on your hair. Come on, mate. Get real.